Well, it's not very often you get to see a, a riveted pressure vessel. It's even more uncommon to see a riveted pressure vessel that's a sphere. Had a chance to come out here and see this somewhat famous example of a riveted sphere. This one actually they call the acid ball. It uh, used to be a acid receptacle for paper making process. You can see it's got a reinforcement strap on the outside. Kind of interesting because the uh, junction for the longitudinal seam and the circumferential seam were, were welded but it was still riveted together. Kind of unusual. You see it's got a sealant on here that was added during the preservation process. This is actually in a park. There's, a constr there's construction going on next door where they're building a hotel or something. But notice it's still got telltale holes on the reinforcement strap. Big old monster dome rivets. Huge dome rivets. I would imagine that on the inside there's also a strap seeing how there's this row of rivets out here. To me that designates a reinforcement strap on the inside covering the seam from the two pieces. Fairly unusual fairly unusual vessel. Like I said, the, the head's even riveted on. Let's see if I can show this. Head's riveted on with two rows of rivets. Pretty, uh, pretty interesting that someone finally realized the architectural value of this thing and has saved it. They put it, they've actually moved it right here to the edge of the water. That way they can kind of keep it kind of some cool architectural history here it's architectural in that now that they're going to save it as what it looks like interesting process thought you guys might enjoy it thanks for coming along bye